Hello and welcome back to this week's Bible Story Time. This week, we are entering another one of the special seasons of time in the church. If you remember, we spent some time in the season of Advent looking forward to Christmas. Well, now we are in the season of Lent that looks forward to Easter. Easter, if you remember, is when we celebrate that Jesus died, but that Jesus was resurrected, that Jesus came back to life. And so for this season of Lent, we're going to look forward to Easter, but before we get to that bright and happy day of Easter, we spend some time looking at the darker things, the shadowy things, the unpleasant and bad things before we get to Easter. So today, we're beginning a journey with Jesus toward Jerusalem, where Jesus dies and where Jesus raises again. We're together going to worship and hear this story, and so let's remember that just as this little candle gives some light and warmth, so God is here with us, even though we're not in the same room, giving warmth and light to our hearts and souls. Let's pray. Good and gracious God, we are thankful that you are with us always. As we pray together and hear Bible stories together, would you speak to our hearts and make us aware of your presence with us. Amen. We're going to read two stories today about Jesus going to Jerusalem and about Jesus and the money changers. Have you heard about Jesus? People were saying. Have you heard about the things he says and does? Everybody knows Jesus. Jesus was becoming very famous. Some people began to wonder, is Jesus the Messiah? Is this the one God promised to us? Many people thought the Messiah would be like an army general. The Messiah would gather soldiers together and fight the Romans. The Messiah would kill the people they didn't like. But some of Jesus' disciples, like Peter, were sure Jesus was the Messiah. But even Peter sometimes thought the Messiah would be like a general. Because Jesus was famous, crowds of people came to see him wherever he went. So Jesus decided to show the people something important. I'm going to go into Jerusalem, Jesus said to his disciples. I want you to go get me a donkey so I can ride it into the city. A donkey? Why not a big, strong horse? No, a donkey. A small, young donkey. I don't want to go into Jerusalem like a general on a horse. I don't want to fight. If I ride on a donkey, people will know that I am coming to bring peace. The crowds gathered on both sides of the road when they heard that Jesus was coming. They cheered and shouted as Jesus rode into Jerusalem. Some of them threw down their clothes so the donkey could walk on something soft. Others cut down branches from trees for the donkey to walk on. Hosanna, shouted the crowds. Hosanna! Hosanna means, save us now. Jesus didn't like that. They still think that I'm coming to be a general, he thought. They think I've come to fight the Romans. Most of the rulers didn't understand Jesus either. They thought a Messiah had to be a general who would fight people. They didn't understand that Jesus 
was trying, they didn't understand what Jesus was trying to show them when he rode into the city on a donkey. When the rulers heard the people shout, Hosanna, save us now, they began to feel afraid. If Jesus is going to be the Messiah, then he will be the ruler instead of us. We'd better find a way to kill him soon. Jesus wanted to pray in the temple when he got to Jerusalem. The temple was kind of like the biggest church in the whole country. Jesus walked around the temple. It was very beautiful. But Jesus saw something there that made him feel angry. People came to the temple to worship God. As part of the worship, they gave some money. They needed a special kind of money to take inside the temple. The people got this special money from money changers. The money changers took ordinary money or animals or whatever the people had and gave the people some temple money. Some of the money changers cheated people, especially the poor people, and that made Jesus very angry. Jesus walked right up to the money changers. He grabbed their tables and turned them over. The money rolled all over the floor. Don't you know, Jesus yelled at them, this is God's house. It should be a place where everyone comes to pray, but you're making it a den of robbers. The money changers scrambled all over trying to pick up their money. Then they went to the rulers. Did you see what Jesus did? They cried. That Jesus, said the rulers, we've got to get rid of him somehow. I wonder why everyone expected that Jesus would have to be a Messiah who fought and who gathered an army. I wonder if, if Jesus isn't going to be that kind of Messiah, what kind of Messiah would Jesus be? I wonder why so many people were afraid and angry about Jesus. I wonder what it was like to be in that crowd when Jesus came into Jerusalem and when they were waving palm branches and crying Hosanna. I wonder what it felt like to try to go worship God and to have money changers cheat you out of money that you needed. I wonder what church should be like. And how people should be treated when they try to come and give their gifts to God. I'm looking forward to reading more stories and hearing about Jesus' time in Jerusalem and how these people who were angry about Jesus becoming the Messiah would treat him. As we go on from this story, let's Think about the kind of Messiah Jesus would be and about Jesus being angry, about the, the people being cheated. And let's try this week, until you watch Bible Story Time next week, to treat people kindly and fairly. And let's pray together now that Jesus would teach us how to follow him. Jesus, we love you, and we want to know how to love you best and to love the people around us. Show us the way to follow you in this season of Lent as we look forward to Easter. Guide us and make our hearts loving and kind like yours. In Jesus' name, amen. And as you go, remember that 
As we blow out this candle, we carry the light and love of God with us as we go wherever we're going from here. Go in peace.